Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be showing you how to play as Annie from League of Legends in World of Warcraft with, of course, her trusty companion, Tibbers. So first things first, one of her main abilities, pretty easy to replicate, is her Fireball, which is her Q. That is as simple as Fireball. There we go. Next up is her W, which is a Fire Breath type ability, which you can easily replicate with another random enchant. That one being the Winterfall Fire Breath, which turns your Cone of Cold into a Fire Breath. And then here we go, we just procced her passive, which is a stun. You pop the Fire Blast and that will stun the enemy, which is a talent you can pick up in the Mage Fire Tree known as Impact. That gives you a 10% chance to stun an enemy when you're doing a damage firing spell. And then next up is her E, which is pretty much just a little fire shield, which is we have right here called Blazing Barrier. That is another RE that you can pick up, and that one will teach you Blazing Barrier if you know Combustion, which is basically like a Ice Barrier. It does also share a cooldown. Basically a small little barrier here that will absorb some damage. Um, now in the game League, there also is a Speed Boost, which you can pop up the Sprint, and you can get, also get that. You can just merge those two together, and then you'll be able to run around. And then of course, last but not least, the Mighty Tibbers. The flaming bear, which is her companion, her little teddy bear that she turns into a raging flame monster. That one is accomplishable by getting the smoldering companion mystic enchant. That one reduces your pet's damage by 10%, but that damage is not fire. Which we have Mr. Tibbers here himself, the fire bear, and we can sick him onto the enemy. And also some of the extra things I added on, some extra mystic enchants, I went with dream state. This is great for mana regen. Some Divine Intellect here. Um, incineration, which is some extra crit. Critical Mask, more crit there. Love that crit. Lunar Guidance, spell damage of your intellect, which is pretty important if you're going to use a lot of intellect. Flame On, I thought was pretty good. I had another one here, Cauterizing Fire. That one was nice because you could use your Fireball as a heal. Plus pair that with Circle of Healing. But that Fireball did a lot less damage. Um, but Flame On, this basically just increases your crit. Fire Blast, so you're going to stun and you're going to do a lot of extra damage. So that's always cool. And then also increases the fire blast's range. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. And I also went with a dagger, a offhand, and a wand just to get a three-piece set of the lunar guidance because that gives me one extra piece to put another enchant on versus just having a staff. And then also the intellect was a little bit higher on that versus a, a staff. And then also just like a few little buffs here and there just to kind of boost her up. Um, some of the talents that we went with, I'll show you a lot into the mage fire tree, a lot of crit and um, extra damage, a little bit of crit here in the shaman tree, but mostly just in the fire mage tree. Um, that impact talent is important for the role of Annie. Um, and then just some stuff here and there to help out with the damage, which we does pretty good damage. Uh, the main ability, you're basically just going to be spamming fireball. And if you want to put some extra things like dots on, like a living bomb or the fire from immolate, or if you grab the talent here, ignite, that will do some of your fire damage over time as well, which is also good for PVP because that does the healing reduction. But we get a lot of crits here, right around 3000 most of the time, sometimes a little bit higher. Non crits are usually 1500 to 2000. And then we could also get our buddy Tibbers in there. Now you could also take this and you can go into the, the Beast Mastery tree and uh, kind of buff up Tibbers a little bit. Make him a little bit stronger if you like. Get him some abilities of his own. Um, but I more so wanted to rely on my own damage and my own fireball. I basically just spec it up as much as I could. And uh, it does pretty well. Uh, I was killing a lot of the elites to get some of the REs and I was just blasting right through them. Takes usually about like three or so fireballs to kill an elite around level 60, which is great. But overall, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to try this out, hop on Project Ascension yourself. If you need any help or questions, let me know. If you found this pretty cool or anything like that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like. It helps out a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.